Hi, it's Linda from Diamonds with Linda, or for Linda. Um, today I have three kits here. Two are from Diamond Art Club, but one I bought at Hobby Lobby, and one I bought off of Amazon, and then I have a Diamond Dots, I believe. Yeah, Diamond Dots that I got at Hobby Lobby. So I wanted to share these three canvases with you today. So I'm just going to set them aside, and I thought I would start from smallest to largest. So I got this one off of Amazon. And is that not the cutest thing? It's a little unicorn with a rainbow. I was thinking about doing this one for blinging in the new year, but um, I think it's too small, but I thought it would have been fun to do like the rainbow or something like that. So what I think I might do, I'm gonna have to be careful with this one because I think I might give this one away as a Christmas gift, uh, as a stocking stuffer. Um, I think we might have a friend come over that um, she doesn't have any family around the area so last Christmas we realized that she was all by herself and told her to come on over and thankfully we had extra gifts because um, we didn't really know her at the time she worked at um, my, where my kids work she worked there and so we didn't really know her but they said that she was going to be by herself so we're like have her come on over and so we're going to invite her over this year but this time I have time to figure out a gift for her and she likes diamond paint, I found out. So I think I might actually give her this one. I'm going to get a stocking and just fill it up with some goodies in it for her this year. So this is, let's see, it's so cute. Look at this. So I might give this one away and then order me another one later. So there it is. Look at this cute little canvas. It actually fits in my camera space. <laughs> So this one has, this is the drills. I'm not gonna take them out just in case I do get this one away. But those are beautiful pastel colors. And then it has the step-by-step. -step. And so it is a nine by nine inches, 23 by 23 centimeters, and has 25 colors. And two ABs, I believe. Is it anything? Is it 150 and over that is not an AB? So this one would be two then. And I'm not going to open the toolkit. Oh, I should have put one of the newer toolkits in here. Oh, and I opened all those on my last video. Um, so this is a little sticker. And then the old toolkit. Oh, you know what? I'll be getting some more Diamond Art Club. Um, I still have my Black Friday so I could put a newer toolkit in here for her so yeah so this is this one so it's so cute and small oh and then um, trying to not let anything get ruined in case I give it away but here it's called unicorn rainbow by pixie sticks she was actually on diamonds and washi on a live with Kate Katie or Kate sorry I apologize and that's how I discovered the artist. So then I thought, you know what, I'm going to go support her and buy her little unicorn painting off of Amazon. I think that's the only place you can get this one, but don't quote me on that. So I'm going to get another one for me. So that is this one. Let me just try to put everything back nice and neat in here. Maybe I will put one of the newer, newer one of these in here too. And then I will find one of my newer kits and I'll put that in here so she has a newer kit. But yeah, I'm trying to keep this one nice and neat, how it came. The box actually is a little bit um, beat up, but that's how I got it. So, oh, can't forget this. Okay, so the next one that I'm gonna share with you all is from Diamond Dots. And I actually did a partial with um, that I completed. And um, I did a partial, it was, Olaf. I bought that one also at Hobby Lobby almost a year ago, but I didn't think I was going to get any diamond paint. I just wanted to try one, but then I thought my place was too small, but then when there's a wheel, there's a way, and so I finally just said, you know what, I'll just have to set up a table and take one down to do my, to do my new craft. So this is it. Is this not the cutest thing? Look at that snowman. He's in a cup of hot chocolate, and I think he has a candy corn and pretzels. Okay. 
My daughter's going to be here soon. We're going to go to the library. And I'm going to work on a diamond painting. Okay, so this is from Diamond Dots. So let's go ahead and open up the canvas. And the canvas on this one is more like that, um, I don't know, was that more plasticky? I'm not sure. So I'm just going to go like this really quick. When I got this one, it reminded me of my younger sister because she likes snowmen. Let's just go like that. I don't know, can you, this is poured blue, right? So you can go like this to kind of, let me just do this off camera real quick. Okay, hopefully it is because, <laughs> oh, my son is here with a coffee. There you go, it's lying flat. So um, I am going to do a pause real quick. Oh, I'm really going to have to edit. Okay, sorry about that, but my son came home. I could see him through the, my bedroom window, and he's so sweet. He brought me a Starbucks coffee. It's a flat white with oat milk, and I wanted to get it while it was hot. So, oh, he's so sweet. I get one almost every day. I'm so thankful for that. Okay, let me put it aside. Hopefully, I don't spill it in here. Okay, but isn't this just so cute? We'll look at the diamonds and the kit in just a second. So this one, fabric size, 14 by 14, 37. Oh, design size is 12 by 12 inches and 30 by 30 centimeters. And I just kind of, I just kind of round off you guys. Snowman latte, ooh, it's a latte. That means it's a coffee, right? I love coffee. Okay. Oh, my, um, my phone today has not been good to me. So let's see if I can pick it up again. And then it has Leisure Arts, The Art of Everyday Living. And it has the legend right there on both sides. And it says Diamond Art. And I guess it says by Leisure Inc. Okay. So here is the kit. So you have your basic kit with the wax, the little gripper thing, comfort grip, the pen, the tray, and some baggies. So you have everything you need to kit up. If you don't um, have anything to kit up and you could use the baggies. And then this, you could run through a sticker. Oh, oh, that's not the, um, did I have that where it shows? Thought there was going to be a paper that did I have that? I'm gonna go that at the end of my video. Did I lose it? Did I take it out when I went to go get my coffee? Okay, so here are the drills. So you will need the baggies to kit up unless you have a con like little containers or however you do your kitting up. So these are the colors. So that is this one. Okay, so let me go ahead. Sorry about all the crinkly. I actually like the crinkly noise, but I know a lot of you don't. So I'm just going to go like that. And that is so cute. That is so cute. Okay, so that is from Diamond Dots. And it did come with this. I thought it was going to have like something. So you, when you kit up, you could... Maybe I lost it. If you have a Diamond Dots... Um, please let me know. I know I did the Olaf one, but I can't remember. I did that like a few months ago. I did that back in September. Okay, so the next kit is a Diamond Art. It's my biggest one. I got this at Hobby Lobby. It was 60% off, so I was really excited. There were two, actually more than two. I wanted to get more. This one was 60% off too, but I, I only had so much money. I try to buy all my diamond, my crafty stuff. I don't buy it um, on credit. I use... Um, you know, I just, I don't want to go into debt with my craft. So, oh, look at, I could put this in that other one for my friends. So she'll have this one. So, I don't want to open it. Oh, now I'm always going to wonder what's in it, though. But it would be nice if she had, I wonder if I could open it and then, wow. Because that's a New York kit. We'll see. Okay. 
And this one from Diamond Art Club. So this is the newer kit. It has like a it has washi tape in there and a uh, cover minder. Oh, let's just see what it is. I'll try to put it all back together. Because I didn't rip it this way, so I think we should be okay. And I'll just take it out very carefully. There's so this is a square, so there's tweezers. Oh well, I'll try to put it back very carefully. So here's the washi tape. Ooh, like a greenish turquoisey squishy. Oh, how cute. So here's the cover minder. It's really cute. So I'll put all this all back in really neat so it doesn't look like I took it out. And I'm going to give this one to my friends so she'll have a new, a new one. Okay, so let's see what this is. Oh no. Let's see, I don't want to rip the bag. I did that in one of my other ones. And so, okay. Okay, let's go ahead and dun, dun, dun. I got this one. So this one, there was also the um, Believe one, I guess it was the um, Santa Claus one, the vintage Santa Claus. I actually wanted to get both, but I only could choose one. So I chose this one. I always have a hard time because I got to go on one side of my camera and then the other side. Let's see if I could get this out for you guys. This is so cute. Oh, I really liked it because it had the Christmas tree. So here's what the picture looks like. And it's a square. It's 20 by 20 inches, 51 by 51 centimeters. And it's called Christmas Delivery by Susan Wingett. And it has, it's not going to focus, it has 47 colors. And one, two, three, four ABs, I believe. How fun. And here is the palette. Beautiful, beautiful. And it has a licensed artwork right here. And it's nice and soft canvas. And the drills. Oh, I'm going to take my glasses off again. You can see everything very clear. It's just beautiful. Do what makes you sparkle. So I'm not going to work on this one this year. I don't know what is going on with that. So let me put this right here because that seems to help. That is so strange. But anyway, I'll probably do this one next year, maybe in July, or um, maybe when I just feel the need to have Christmas music on in the middle of the year, because I do love Christmas time. Um, you know, here, it's in Texas, it doesn't get too cold, but hopefully we'll get at least one day of snow. It does snow once in a while here, but we don't get a lot of snow. Mm, my coffee is so good. So, that is my haul from Hobby Lobby and Amazon. My little haul. So next year, let me know what you all are doing. If you're still following along, I appreciate you all still being here. So what I am going to do is I'm going to try to spend like $100 a month on diamond painting. So basically to get to the free shipping. And I'm going to try my best to buy from other companies. There's so many that I want from Diamond Art Club still like the other oh, Spangler, the Little Dragons. I still want to get a few of those, especially the ones that are limited edition. Um, but I still I want to tr I want to support the smaller companies. I want to try Jaded Gem Shop. I want to try Dreamers Design. I don't know if that's a smaller company or not. Um, I want to get some another one from DP Sparklers, and there are a few others that I want to try. I can't recall the name, um, the names of them, but there are a few. Oh, I want to get I a few from Craftably. Um, I already have quite a few from them, but I would like to continue supporting them. 
but I, I don't want to buy as many as I have now. I think I'm, I started buying in the summertime and I'm already, I uh, like 50 to 60 um, kits. I don't want to get too many. I want to be able to, I want to get these done. I know I already have enough to last me for a few years. So I'm not going to do a no buy, but I'm going to rein it in a bit and maybe get one or two paintings, try to keep it at around $100. And only if I have the cash, I'm not going to use credit cards. And I try not to use credit cards when I'm, you know, for my diamond paintings and coloring books. So, um, so yeah, I just don't want to get to too many because, you know, I, I, my other channel, Linda Learns to Color, I have like over 400 coloring books and, you know, probably over 30 different colored pencils. So I don't want to do that with my diamond painting. I know I'm not going to get to all those coloring books, although I love them and they bring me joy and I love looking through them. So anyway, so just with me, I really want to get my diamond paintings done that I bought because I bought them to get, because they're gorgeous and I want to do them and see them completed. So if you have hundreds, it's no shame in there or anything like that. It's just me. I just I just really want to try not to get past 100 diamond paintings, um, unfinished ones. So we'll see if I can keep that goal and kind of um, rein it in a little bit in the new year to just maybe a few a month. So let me know what your thoughts are. Um, and if you have, you know, 400 more power to you, that's pretty awesome, I think, really. It would be so neat to just go into see all your stash that many of them but yeah I can't afford to have that many so um, which is for me a good thing because I really do want to complete the ones that I do get so anyway I hope that didn't sound like I'm trying to um, I hope it didn't like sound where that I'm trying to be rude to those who have hundreds I think it's awesome actually and yeah so anyway Enough of that, but let me know in the comments what you um, are applying. What are your plans for the new year with diamond painting? So I would love to hear about it. So thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And remember to live a life filled with color. It's just so much prettier that way. And I will see you all in my next video. Bye.